Today, we're gonna use a logic level shifter to go from this to going like this. So what is a logic level shifter and why do we need one? Well, you already saw why in the sense of everything was flickering, but why was it flickering so terribly? Well, the main reason is the signal coming from the ESP8266 is a basically a digital three volt signal. And this can send on average like 3.3 volts, maybe 3.5 volts out. And 3.3 happens to be the bare minimum that these LEDs can take for that signal wire. So we need the signal to actually be a five volt signal. And so what we're gonna need to do is get a logic level shifter and prep it and put it into our circuit the right way so we can convert this three volt signal into a five volt signal that can go over longer distances. So let's get started. First off, we're going to show off how terrible I am at soldering because these things came without the pins soldered on which is not quite what I was expecting, but it makes sense for them being less than a dollar a piece. So I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is my first time soldering pins onto a circuit board like this. Not the best work, but it did work. So let's take that with the pins and now press them into the breadboard. And now that they're in there, we can start wiring things up. We'll take the ground, from the node MCU to the ground on the low voltage side of the logic level shifter. Then we'll take the 3V or 3 volt uh, pin from the node MCU to the LV or low voltage pin of the shifter. And then D4, our signal wire, to LV4 because we're already using HV4 for the LED side of things. So let's take a closer look. Um, over here, I have the red line coming in from my power supply, and that's going to the uh, power rail on this and the white cable coming from the ground of my power supply. And the red and white wires on the far left go to the LEDs, just like that blue wire is the signal wire for the LEDs. And I have my node MCU over here connected with the uh, positive and negative rails from the power supply. Um, and then up on the top here, I've got my ground and three volt and D four that we looked at earlier. And so that white wire is the ground. The orange is the three volt and the yellow is that D four signal wire. So over here on the logic level shifter, you can see that we've got the LV, which is the low voltage, that's the three volts, and the white for the ground. And then we have the yellow signal wire. Now, I'm using LV4. I could have easily used LV1, LV2, or LV3. We would just need to move that blue wire over to the matching HV1, HV2, or HV3. But we're just using the LV4 and HV4 because it's off to the side and easy to get to. Now, what's happening is this is taking the low voltage from the circuit board and somehow comparing that um, to the signal wire itself. It's kind of using that as a reference, but I don't quite understand exactly how that works. And then it's taking the high voltage down at the bottom um, to boost the signal somehow. I'm not quite sure how this all works, it just does work. And if we needed to go from high voltage to low voltage, it'd be pretty easy. We would just send the signal from the high voltage side and receive it from the low voltage side. This is a bi-directional circuit. So if I remove that low voltage, then we can see the lights no longer work. They don't uh, move anymore. If I connect that low voltage so it ha has that reference point, then now it can tell what that signal is and boost it up to the five volts. So that's how we add a logic level shifter to a node MCU. And now we can control our LEDs 
from a much greater distance. In this particular example, I've got about five feet of cable between this circuit and those LEDs, and they're lit up just fine and have been going for quite a while without any flickers whatsoever.